What's up guys, Kwezi here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm in Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how to use Photoshop Actions. So if you're unfamiliar with Photoshop Actions, they basically just do war work for you in Photoshop. So if you are doing the same thing repeatedly for uh, certain things in Photoshop, um, and you're just getting sick and tired of doing these repetitive things, you can create an action. So instead of you constantly repeating these steps, uh, Photoshop will do the steps for you. And it's real quick, real easy. Um, there's like things with naming the layers, the correct uh, like names. So if you create an action with a layer called layer one, uh, if you try to use it on a layer called like background or something, you'll get like pop-ups and it'll like slow down the process and stuff. So that's one thing to keep in mind here, but um, here's an example of what it could be used for. So this is, I just made a brand new doc or untitled document right here, uh, 1280 by 720. As you can see, I haven't touched anything. The background layer is still locked. Um, so if I go here to example in the actions, uh, to bring up the actions, by the way, you go to window uh, actions. Um, and if I have example selected, I click, click play, boom, it creates a simple thumbnail kind of concept right here. Um, so if this was something that I always did when going to Photoshop, Photoshop would just do it for me right there. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. So there's a few things that Photoshop won't include in the actions. Um, and I haven't used it enough to be able to point out specific things. But I know some of them include like erasing and whatnot. Um, but that's about as far as my knowledge goes because I only use it for simple things. I don't try to use it for anything complex. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new 1280 by 720p document, 20, uh, 72 um, pixel resolution. And before I even do anything to any of these layers, I'm going to go to my actions uh, pop up right here. And I'm going to go to this button that looks like the same. It's the same as the new layer button. Right? And it's create a new action. So you can go ahead and uh, name this anything. I'm just gonna call it tutorial. Uh, just keep it in your default actions or whatever. Um, and you can like pick a color if you'd like. So I'll just go yellow. And then you click record. And it's not recording your every move. It only records when you actually do something. So if I unlock this layer here, boom, it says set background. And then I can name it background and it will have that pop up. So then you just have to uh, say to yourself, like, what do I want to do next? What do I want Photoshop to do for me? So I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm just going to add some text and I'm going to sort of do the same thing I just showed you. So if I always make the same sort of style thumbnail uh, and I don't want to save like a PSD of it or something like that, I can just go ahead and write uh, like simple thumbnail. Okay put it in the lower left because the timestamp would be at the lower right. Uh, and then I want to add a picture, but I want the picture to be the same size throughout all my thumbnails. So I'm just going to create a box to help me know what that size is right there. And I'm going to create a new layer and fill it. So I just did command delete. And then I'm going to command D to deselect. You notice there's no color change. Well, I want to add a slight gradient on this background. So I'm going to double click the background and add a layer style. And simply, I just added a gradient, uh, kept it normal, black to white, just decrease the opacity, click OK. Boom, there's my thumbnail. Um, say I want to do this repeatedly then, so I'm like, all right, I'm done. That's it, that's all I want it to do for me. I don't want it to go any further because I don't want it to be messed up or anything. Then you go here to the box and click stop playing slash recording. And then it'll save that, and that's saved. You can also go through and delete things. So if I don't want something, I can click on it, click the trash can, and it will delete it. So um, to test this, you just want to create a new document and set it up how uh, the same way. And you notice the name of any stuff doesn't change here. I want to keep it the same. So I'm just going to go ahead to the actions, go to tutorial, click play, and boom, it was instant, like just like that. Um, if you, I want to show you guys something. If I delete this here, right click. All right. If I name this something else like fill, 
I believe it'll be kind of annoying. So let me click play. And yeah, see the object background is not currently available. Continue. And now if you, it, you can see it was just one pop-up in that situation. But if you have a whole ton of layers that you do things to and they're named different things, it's gonna be a really complicated and not work. Um, but yeah, guys, that's essentially it. Uh, you can do a lot more things with this. This is as far as I've dug into this uh, action. If you guys want me to go more in depth with this at a later time, uh, I gladly will research it a little bit. But I just wanted to show this off on my channel and let you guys know about it because it's really handy for things if you are constantly doing them over and over again. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.